<laughs> well, hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On today's video, the plan was to get back in the woods and fell some trees. We got a beautiful day today. It's, um, it's almost 70 degrees, sunny. Uh, it got a pretty heavy rain this morning, so everything's saturated, but it's a really nice, uh, beautiful, sunny day. The problem is, I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> that's about, that's a constant wind with up to 50 mile an hour wind gusts, and that's not a good time to be uh, felling trees in the woods. So we're going to have to punt. You know, even though there's no leaves on the trees, being in the woods trying to steer a tree to fall a certain way uh, is dangerous enough. When you incorporate some wind and those treetops start whipping around pretty good, then it makes it almost impossible to do that safely. Uh, you can get some serious kick out. You can see how these gusts are affecting trees here, moving those around, but then over here they're barely moving. So in these valleys, these mountains and valleys of West Virginia, when they start whipping around like this, you can see that pine, that thing's dancing like crazy. That would be, uh... <laughs> yeah, look at that. That would be the proverbial death on a stick. Large stick, large death. So instead, we are going to fire up the Norwood, make some sawdust, that way we can get a bunch of that blown back in our face. We still have four small logs here that need to be cut up from our barn project. And even though we don't have pigs farrowing, obviously that's a sad story and we'll link to a video here, um, we will uh, continue closing in our barn. Might as well just keep on keeping on. And we'll have some updates on the pigs uh, as we get things put together. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whew, so that wind even makes milling a little tricky here. <laughs> Get a snoot full of sawdust. So out of that one Virginia pine, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven usable boards. We really should have had uh, probably eight or nine. Um, caught up one, that, that one spot there where you saw the, um, I didn't have the cant dog down, so the blade lifted it up and, of course, caused it to cut a twist. So that's a shame on me for not uh, putting it the way it needs to go. But not bad for a little Virginia pine. Um, it's amazing how light these boards are. Uh, pine logs been laying on the ground for maybe three weeks, four weeks. And it, it just really amazing how much water comes out of those things just in that short of time. Uh, difference in night and day in picking those up than we milled them last time. So I think we need, uh, well, I've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I need about 24 to finish the barn completely, um, excluding the door, of course. I'll, I'm going to mill um, some other stuff for the door. So we're getting close. We've run out of gas, so we're going to make a gas run. And um, with these high winds, probably going to lose power, so we'll want to make sure our generator's uh, ready to go. So we're, we're going to do a gas run and probably call it a day. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody.